Uh, I just, I just want to sort of throw a few questions at you. You know, sort of. Uh, well, answer them, well, as long as you answer them better than I ask them, it'll be okay. Can someone put their elbow on that door? Yeah, so people can be and Oh, right. Uh, well, first off, I think I better get the names right because. Uh, yeah. Well, you can get all that from the office. No, he's got a tech recorder. Let's tell him the name. Right, well, I'll, right. I'll take you in here first. Nick. 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 Rick. Rick. Roger. Roger. And Dave's over there. Dave's over there. That's the lot, is it? Yes. Fair enough, good stuff. Right, well, uh, I'd like to sneeze then. Can't be bad. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you know, sorry. Anyway. Uh, right, you lot have been described as an, as an underground group. Yes, I'm okay. queen. Do you agree with it? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I'd like uh, to hand you over to Rick on this one. Uh, we were, and maybe, and possibly are. We appeal to the so-called underground, I confess. It's a fair cop. We came from the so-called underground. We're a popular nation. But we're, we don't promote it. As you know, we're not interested in the underground. <laughs> well, I, I mean, when I say that, I mean, a, I'm very, very interested. Well, I think possibly, oh, perhaps the better answer would be we're against um, no, We're no. against classifications like underground, which is a rather meaningless phrase, because underground used to mean uncommercial, and it no longer means that, because underground is now commercial. Well, uh, you know, I've just uh, attempted to have an interview with a love affair. Yeah. Uh, they have described you as being an underground group. That's why I asked you that question. They have described themselves as being without classification. But the love affair aren't really the foremost authorities on us, as it happens. As it happens, what do they describe themselves as? They, they, they describe themselves as playing the music off the love affair. Yeah, yeah, that's not quite a love affair. That's totally untrue. Well, that isn't true, is it? Because it's let's not them. Yes, let's leave the love affair out of it, because let's not get into this unpleasant bickering about what everyone is. We'll talk about we us. We don't want to classify ourselves. They don't want to classify themselves. That's cool. What's it got to do with us? Yeah, okay, so it's... Right. Now, are you... I mean, I've, I've asked you... You want, you want an underground group, for a start? Well, that's... It depends what you okay. say. Oh, I, I, I want to get this straight for a start. You want an underground group. No, you appeal to the underground. We're not going to make it that easy for you. Oh, good. You come in here. Why has it got to be one or the other? Why has it got to be the one yes, or the other? What does an underground group mean? Define your a, a group that appeals to the underground. A group that appeals to the underground. Moles or something. Is it the people here tonight? Is it the people here tonight? Was it an underground audience tonight? No. I would uh, no. I, I, I wouldn't describe it as such. Did well. they appeal to them? Do you think? Yes. 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 Oh. Oh. Right. Who do you play for, and why do you play? I play for myself. You play for what? For myself. I play for myself. I play for the rest of the lads. We <laughs> <laughs> play for all of us. Yeah. That's it. Full we, stop. I mean, and anyone who enjoys it wants to listen yeah. and have a good time. Good. And loon about. Just have a good fun. We play because we love it, of course, and also to make money, which seems to me two very good reasons. Right, now, you, therefore, you do want to classify yourselves as playing any certain type of music. Right. Okay. Right? Right. Now, well... I think we feel like we're playing, see? That's we it. Feel like playing we play our well, scene. We play what we play. And that's it, full stop. Like the love yeah. yes. Like the love Well, I mean... <laughs> But I, mean, I, I, I wouldn't take your music as being as being similar to to, to various other, you know, um, if I can use that old Hackney like Fears pop music. Well, you're well, you see, you're well, they're not in the same band as us, you see. Who are All the other people, the other who make the other types of pop music, aren't in this band. Therefore, they're not made by the same people. We're a group that appeals to enough people for us to be able to sell gramophone records and go and play live in places. Consequently, we are, whether you like it or not, or I like it or not, a pop group. That's all a pop group is. No, um, it's, it's, it's been it's, it's been said of someone. I'm, I'm not quite sure who it's. Uh, it seems ringing to me that it was one of the Beatles that said it. That if you can't hum a tune, or if you do hum a tune, never it, it will be a hit. Okay? Yeah. Do you consider that people can hum your tunes? They can hum the basic. I mean, they can. Yeah, so some, some of them can. Some of them can. <laughs> a good hummer. A good hummer can cope with some of our tunes. Yes. Um, 
But we don't, our, our success live, or lack of success live, is not, not based on our ability to put over how much tunes. We improvise. We, you know, we, we, we play a very crude form of jazz, if you have to be meaning by jazz, improvisation. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have described yourself to a certain, a certain extent, uh, got that out, as commercial. Yeah. Now, if the, now, well, if the love affair describe themselves as commercial and you describe yourselves as commercial, yeah. I mean, wh where, does, wh where does one draw the line? The line is drawn whether whether you make money or not. I think we're more commercial than love affair. Oh, the on the word commercial means we're saleable. That I mean, we have a commodity to offer which people will buy. Music, you say commercial. Which yes. is what you, you're thinking of. Yes, you're, you're understanding by the word commercial, uh, sort of two-minute numbers. That we number understand number. by the word commercial whether we can sell ourselves or not. To buy. I mean, so we go know. out for the same sort of money and as a... people, if you asked anyone in the business, um, if you said to them, which is the more commercial group, Pink Floyd or The Love Affair? They would say, The Love Affair, you know, in 10 out of 10, quite right, BG. If you're talking in those journalistic type of terms. But you, we, but we, you know, but we made more of a sale here tonight. So if you're talking about tonight, and we're the more commercial group. And if you're talking about record sales, we're probably interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get away from those questions. Okay. Well, fine. Well, first up, no. <laughs> what I've been trying to get around it. I mean, I'm, I'm the editor of a, of a student magazine. Okay. Right. So, we'll, so we we'll, uh, try to a certain extent yeah. try to um, Just get the questions from students. Okay. <laughs> What do you think, and we, well, this is the uh, usual phrase, but what do you think of student demonstrations at the moment? Wow. Depends what they're about, really. Vietnam. Uh, no, I, I'm talking about student demonstrations, I mean, anything. I mean, if students feel they've got something to protest against, do you think that the way they go about it is right or wrong? You can't, you can't possibly categorise all student demonstrations like that. You know, I'm talking about popular students. I mean, the, the students are the, the ones doing as popular. Because, um, so far as I can see, bodies of students all over the world have been protesting about racialism, the war in Vietnam, um, their right to have some kind of say in the university or college administration. Um, there are new hockey fields, you know, all millions and millions of things, and in, in dozens and dozens of different ways. You know, from going and knocking on somebody's door and saying, I think so, and so it's dodgy. So, throwing paint about and shouting is true. Do you think that uh, students today are realising more and more, I mean, their position in the world uh, today? Yeah, I think that the scene about people now is that um, they're not nearly so hung up about earning a living, and, uh, you know, because there's a welfare state and whatever. And uh, so they think more about other things. You know, people aren't quite so um, hooked on the whole business of getting their A-levels and going to college and getting a degree and getting a good job and getting a house and then getting a car and, you know, mm -hmm. anyone can do that all now, you know, that. so what? Who's interested, you know, what's all that for? Nothing. Well, what if you hear, uh, you know, did you ever have any uh, sort of wish to be a student or... Have you ever been... Four years! Have you ever been a student? Yes. Four right, years. Right, first Four years. Is it Nick? Yes. Right. Have you ever been a student? I have been a student and I have a certificate in architecture from the Regent Street Polytechnic, London, W1. I first met Richard Wright in DA1, the Regent Street Polytechnic, okay, and Roger right. Waters in the DA1, the Regent Street Polytechnic. No, well, uh, Roger got a gold star for one of his schemes and it was hung up. And Mr. Cudden's horrible and Mr. Wickham's horrible and Mr. Leonard's all right. I was thrown out. <laughs> I'm right. Well, I'll start with you. You've been a student. I have been a student. Do you just told you all about <laughs> yes. no, 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 no. Do, you, do you think the students um, at, at this moment are any different from the times when you, when you yourself were a student? Well, when I was a lad, of course. <laughs> Back in the old days. Back in the old days, mate, we used to... A student was a student. A student was a student. Hang on. Let's get this settled. How long ago were you a student? I was a student. Two years ago. Two years ago. Now, I would say that it's only been from about one to two years ago that, that I mean, s the student voice has become sort of uh, good fodder for news, okay? Okay, yeah, yes. So we say, say that, you, that, you, that you were in it at the beginning. Did, did, did you notice any, any signs of student uprising at all when you, when you yourself were one? Yes. No. <laughs> you did? Yes. Why? It was me, for a start. I, start, I went started a pop group called the Megadeths. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive, don't you think? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I tell you, mate, you're talking to the ex-chairman of the Cambridge YCND, and that wasn't two years ago. That was fucking ten years ago. <laughs> 
No, we're all incredibly socially conscious. You are? Yeah. I don't quite understand why you keep going on about students. Well, well, because he's a student paper. Oh. He's a student paper. Oh. That's well, it. Well, he's got a white guitar, have you? Fender. No. Fender. No. no. But then, that's the thing. I like it to do this. Um, I don't. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're doing very well. Yeah. You're not so nice, sir. No, but uh, what I did want, even though I don't seem to uh, be able to get around to it, is you know, your views as students at the moment. You know? I mean, uh, we well, yeah, haven't got any views. Yeah, that's that's you, said, students. you said you said a one can't generalise on it. You say I, I think that what I'm trying to get you to say is, is to generalise on the student. Um, on the popular views of students at the Why moment. Why do you make a generalisation like that? I'm, I'm not saying... Students generally are rather good because they keep booking us to their universities, which is a very good reason for liking them a lot. You know, we do but do... 90%... There's a guitar that's room there. Yeah? 90% of something or other... Zoobledy doobledy wobble. Yeah. Pardon? 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 No, but what I'm asking you, what do you think of the popular view of students today? Now, when what, what, do, when, what do I... Th wait a minute, let's get this straight. What do I think of the popular view of students? Yeah. I think he thinks it's popular. Does it? Uh, I'll never get it this way. Well, can you explain to generalise on us? I'm not asking you to generalise, I'm asking you. Are. Are. I'm, I'm, asking you. I'm asking you your views on the generalisation of students. Generalisation is bad to generalisation. You can't generalise students. I'm not, I'm not saying that you are generalising, I'm asking your views on it. All lead to general disaster. Well, I don't think it's happened, yeah. has it? It has. Oh, no, it hasn't. You were. Bill. Um, I can call you Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. right. Now, right. I merely ask you, what do you think of the generalization of student theory? When one wants the word student, one thinks of violence, okay? Do you? I think it's a bit unfair. Ah. So, so towards the students? Yes. I agree, okay? You he pinched my idea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to just say it in harmony. I, I One, agree. Two, three, four. I think, think most 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 students aren't <laughs> involved in violence at all. You know, most of them are still hung up on the old getting a good job, you know, and getting a car together. Right. And whether they've got a nice clean shirt and have they got a tie. Mummy, where's my tie? And mummy, have you done my shoes yet? Because I have to go to school. Yes. What's your thing? You believe it? Students are students. Eh? What, what's what's a bit what's nice? What about Latimer? What about Peter Latimer in my year? <laughs> he was always putting a suit on to come into college. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Proven? <laughs> 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 these 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 What about Latimer? I'll try. As I said, it's the last interview. I'm sorry. Anyway. It's all right. But you're asking a sort of an incredible question. You're rather you're rather saying, what are your views on life? Or what yeah. are your views What's on the point? What are your views on that? <laughs> 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 I'm saying that it's in the Bob Dylan film. Possibly in the Bob Dylan film. Have you seen the Bob Dylan film? Yes, I have. Tell me, um, it's disappointing that that. Uh, it seems, to, it seems to be rather popular around the college at the moment. Uh, um, have any of you any views on religion at all? Yes. What? I've got some views on religion. <laughs> what type of views? Well, it do you think a bit of a long time to discuss them? Just do you think that that religion is necessary? <laughs> Do you think generalizations about religion are a bad thing? <laughs> yes. yes. I think the generalizations are a bad thing about I think religion, religion is a, a much smoglier thing. You see, I am not, not sure that it's We're really not really interesting to talk about religion. So it's really well, well interesting to ask our opinion on very weighty subjects and say this is what the Pink Floyd think about very weighty subjects because most people have their own opinions and really think, you know, well what's this get telling us about? Mm. I, you know, I'm, I'm not convinced that... Mm. Um, no, I think... Uh, no, yeah, so just I'll ask Dave again. Dave, you said you have some views on religion, right? Yes, I said I had some views on religion, but I don't really wish to discuss them. You, you don't wish to discuss them full stop, right. Um, <laughs> have you any views on student politics? No. You have no views on student politics. Um, have you any views on the, on the way the country is being run at the moment? Um, yes, there again I've got some views, but they're a bit lengthy. Well, can you sort of, um, some of no. you no. can. No. Uh, it's been suggested that boys coming from the particular area that you come from, if you hadn't found it interesting music, might have found it much more difficult to get out and make a go of life. Would you comment on this? 
I think it's true, you know. I mean, when I was 16 and that, you know, I used to walk on the road, you know, with the rest of the lads, and we'd have all our trade coats on, and just, you know, we'd had a few knocks and that with other rival gangs sort of thing. But when I got the drums and the bloke next door played a guitar, and I got a job, <laughs> and we started playing together, and another bloke in work made a bass out of an old tea chest, you know, in them days. And this was about 58, mind you. And we played together, and then we started playing on dances and things, you know, and we took an interest in it. And we just stopped going, you know, I was sort of hanging around corners every night. Would you say that the enormous difference which your success in this field has had has greatly influenced 